Hi, maybe you could start by um, introducing yourself and uh, possibly tell us how you got involved in this uh, project. Okay, um, Mr. Israel Tawiamo, I'm an assistant librarian at the National University of Science and Technology. I got involved into the Subjects Plus project through a seminar that was organized by the ICT's department in our library. Okay, uh, so what what role have you been playing in this in this project? Okay, I've been playing the role of uploading content onto the Subjects Plus site. Uh, we have a site, a mini site, rather for each and every department that we have in the university. So I've been responsible for uploading content for my department, which is the Faculty of Medicine. Okay, um, so. Uh, for you to be able to upload this this, this content, uh, what sort of training did you receive? Did you receive any training at all? Okay. Yes, we received training through that seminar organized by the ICT's department that I referred to at the beginning. I think we had two or three seminars and the rest we had tutorials. Sometimes we would ask them to come to our desks so that they can show us uh, how we can upload content or how we can change from one thing to another. Okay, so when you were implementing Subjects Plus, what were you hoping that it would bring? What were you expecting from it? Okay, we're hoping that it's going to improve the usage of our electronic resources that we have subscribed to. We have resources subscribed to as a library, peri resources, and so there has been an underutilization of these resources and also, we also wanted users to be aware of open access uh, content, which is also available on the internet. So we wanted to marry the two, the peri databases and the open access resources. Okay. Um, so in your experience uh, so far, what challenges uh, would you say you've experienced um, using Subjects Plus? Okay. The biggest challenge has been in identifying the content that must be put inside the Subjects Plus because sometimes you have to work with the user in mind and it's not always probably that you will be able to get what the user expects. Okay, um, all right. So in terms of um, the, the, the software itself, what do, you, what do you like best about Subjects Plus? Okay, uh, I like it because it's customizable. You can be able to make your page to look any way that you want it to look like. So it now depends on your preferences as an individual or his preferences as a department. All right. Um, so in your interaction with your constituency, if we'll call it that, um, how has Subjects Plus been received by, by the users? Okay. It's, been well, it's been well received. The users have liked the way it looks and they've liked the content that we have put inside, although we are shooting in the dark but they have promised to also help us in other things that we can put in. But they have just generally liked the whole idea of organizing all of the content within a particular subject into one subject gateway. Okay, um, so say other libraries would like to implement Subjects Plus, what uh, advice would you give such libraries? Okay, I'll first tell them to recruit me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so in terms of the implementation of Subjects Plus at NAS Library, what, um, what would you like to happen next? Um, okay. In that regard? okay, I think the next stage, the lecturers have to work hand in hand with the librarians such that we have as much of their content inside the Subjects Plus, that is, their course outlines and their suggested readings within the course outlines and with their particular topics that they are interested in, uh, that their students should definitely know these topics. We should be able to add those topics into the subjects, please. Okay, thanks so much, Mr. Davengo, for your time and for your views. We would like to wish you all the best. Thank okay, you. Okay, thank you, too.